Well, sometimes there's just nothing better, like today as an example. Mm -hmm. If we could just feel the warm sunshine yeah. on our face, but the sun does a lot more than just heat things up. Yeah, we are about to enter solar cycle number 25, and as CBS 17 Storm Team meteorologist Rachel Dunsing explains, that means the sun is about to get a lot more active. The aurora. Those beautiful lights dancing across the sky is just one way that shows our sun is an active star. But the sun is in the process of getting even more active. It's called Solar Cycle 25. We expect it to peak sometime in the next two years. So it probably, it'll probably peak this year, but activity will remain high throughout 2024 and much of 2025. Dr. Mark Misch explains that solar cycles occur roughly every 11 years when sunspot activity increases on the surface of the sun. Solar Cycle 25 began December of 2019 and is one of the strongest cycles in decades. In the next few years, this year and next year, we're expecting the highest activity in about 20 years, over 20 years. So that was before the iPhone was invented. And think how we've changed since then. Solar storms associated with these solar cycles can impact satellites, GPS, even radio, as well as the industries that use them. So as we become more reliant on technology, space weather has more of an impact. The sun has been doing this for uh, as long as we can determine, for at least 10,000 years. And so the sun hasn't changed, but we have. But that doesn't mean we have to panic. Researchers and forecasters know how to work with industries so they can take precautions and protect the technology we are so reliant on. And while we may not see the aurora dance like up north, there may be some hope to see it here. There will be a few opportunities in the next two years, I would say, to, to see something from as far south as North Carolina. Meteorologist Rachel Dunzing, CBS 17.